Hello, my name is Westbam and welcome to another very useful tutorial for VVV. Okay, in the previous lesson I showed you how to make this very messy patch to color the quads in the four corners of this renderer. Now, like I said, this is not the best way to go. Just imagine I want to color more than uh, four corners. Let's say I want to make a grid of uh, three by three. Well, to do that inside of VVV, you have to think in spreads. And that's what I'm going to show you today. So first I'm going to delete this mess. So I left click and drag to select all the nodes I'm going to delete. And then hit the delete key and do it again for these colors. The magic node for today is going to be the grid pick. I double left click and type in grid, grid pick 2D for two dimensions. And if you're interested, you can always look at the help file. So select the node, hit F1 and there's your help file. But this specific help file is a bit more advanced uh, for my taste, but uh, it, it's there if you want to look at it. But for now I'm not going to bother, so I'm going to close it up again. Okay, if you look at the grid pick in here in Spectre over here, in short, it, uh, it looks at a, a series of points with X and Y coordinates within a certain width and a certain height, and then outputs um, in which grid of rows and columns it fits. So for example, if I have two rows and two columns, I also need to change the width to two and the height to two because our renderer goes from minus one to plus one. So that's a width of two and from minus one to plus one. So that's a height of two. And if I now connect my resample node for the translate X and my resample node for the translate I to the grid pick, and I look at the index pin or the output pin in Heron Spectre. I can see ones, twos, zeros and threes. And this represents the grid in which the specific coordinate fits. So the first slice of our random spread, that's 0.76 and 0.38, will fit here and that's grid number one. And it's grid number one and not grid number two because VVV starts to count with zero. So all we have to do now is make a color spread and get the correct color for every quad in the grid. So let's do just that. I double left click and make a linear spread. And I'm going to put the spread count to four. And then I'm going to make a UV saturation value color join. Connect the linear spread to the UV, give it a bit more saturation, right click one and click outside. And to see the colors we're dealing with, I'm going to double right click, make an IO box color and I'm going to change the columns to two and the rows to two, just like here in the grid pick. And then I'm going to connect the HSV color join to my IO box color and here we have four colors. If you hover above the output pin of the grid pick, you see we are dealing with 610 values. So I'm going to create a color spread of 610 values. And to do that, I'm going to create a new node and that node is the get slice color. Get slice. And how this node works, you're going to give it an input. And in this case, it's a color spread. And let me quickly make an IO box color so we can see what's going on. And uh, let me connect the output of the get slice to the IO box color. Now it's set to zero. That's the first slice. If I make this a one, I get the second slice or the purple color. And if I set this to three, I get the green color. And as I have said before, the grid pick only outputs indexes of one, zero, two, and three. So that's exactly what we need. Now let's connect the grid pick to the index pin. And let's connect the get slice to the quad. And so let me delete this IO box color. And here we have the exact same patch as our previous tutorial, but a lot faster and with a few lesser nodes. Okay, let's uh, crank it up a notch. I'm going to create nine colors and I'm going to set my IO box color to three columns and three rows. And I'm also going to set my grid pick at three rows and three columns. And just imagine to create this result with the previous method we used. Okay, this tutorial was a quick introduction into the power of spreads. A nice introduction to the grid pick node. I hope you understand a bit how the get slice node works, 
I will be using it a lot more in uh, future tutorials, I hope, I assume, because it's a very, very common and very used note. My name is Westbam and uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time.